Welcome to today's mathematical journey. We're going to explore the Lambert W function, a remarkable mathematical tool that emerges when elementary algebra meets its match. Now, if I asked you to solve this equation, you'd probably reach for the natural logarithm without hesitation. Take the natural log of both sides, and voila, x equals the natural log of 5, approximately 1.609. Simple, elegant, straightforward. But what happens when equations get more complicated? Let's travel back to the 18th century, when mathematical minds were grappling with polynomial equations of degree 5 and higher. Johann Lambert, a brilliant Swiss mathematician, was wrestling with these com complex polynomial equations. The problem wasn't just that they were hard to solve. It's that for equations of degree 5 and above, there simply is no general al algebraic solution using radicals. This was later proven rigorously by Abel in 1824 and Gallois in 1829. But Lambert didn't know this yet. What he did know was that he needed help. So Lambert did what any mathematician would do when faced with an impossible problem. He turned to the greatest mathematical mind of his era, Leonhard Euler. Lambert's challenge to Euler would lead to one of the most ingenious mathematical breakthroughs of the century. Euler's response was nothing short of brilliant. Instead of trying to solve the unsolvable, he created something entirely new. He introduced what we now call the W function, defined by this deceptively simple equation, W of x times e to the x equals x. At first glance, this might look circular or even trivial, but look closer at what Euler accomplished here. If x equals 1, then w of 1 times e to the 1 equals 1. If x equals 2, then w of 2 times e to the 2 equals 2. Euler had created what we now call a special function, a mathematical object that could solve exponential equations that seemed impossible before. It's sometimes called the product logarithm because it undoes the operation of multiplying by an exponential. Let's work through a concrete example to see how this function actually works in practice. To find w of 1, we start with the definition, w of 1 equals some value x, where x times e to the x equals 1. Rearranging this equation, we get e to the x equals 1 over x. Taking the natural logarithm of both sides gives us x equals negative natural log of x. This transcendental equation has a solution of approximately 0.56714. This special number is so important it has its own name the omega constant. Unlike simple algebraic numbers, this can't be expressed in terms of elementary functions. You need the w function to write it down exactly. Now you might be wondering, this is all very interesting, but when would I actually use this in practice? Let's say you need to solve this equation, 2 to the x plus x equals 5. We can rearrange this to 2 to the x equals 5 minus x, then manipulate it algebraically. But eventually, we reach a point where we have an expression involving both exponential and polynomial terms mixed together. When we convert everything to the natural exponential form, we can see that this equation naturally leads to an expression involving the w function. Without the w function, this type of equation would be essentially unsolvable in closed form. With it, we have a precise mathematical tool to express the answer. The story doesn't end with Euler. In 1770, Joseph Louis Lagrange made another crucial contribution. Lagrange developed his famous inversion formula, a general method for finding series representations of inverse functions. When applied specifically to the W function, this gives us a beautiful infinite series representation. W of x equals this infinite sum involving powers of x with carefully chosen coefficients. The first few terms are x minus x squared, plus 3 halves x cubed, minus 8 thirds x to the fourth, and so on. This series representation allows us to compute numerical values of the w function to any desired precision, crucial for practical applications. Today, the Lambert w function is far from a mathematical curiosity. It appears regularly in physics and engineering problems, computer science algorithms, pure mathematical research, and numerical analysis. You might wonder why it's called the Lambert w function rather than the Euler w function, since Euler did most of the heavy lifting. Well, the name was actually coined in the 1990s by researchers who felt that Lambert deserved credit for posing the original challenge. Uh, plus, let's be honest, Euler already has enough things named after him. So there you have it, the Lambert W function, from an 18th century mathematical challenge to a modern computational tool. 
It's a perfect example of how mathematical creativity finds a way around seemingly impossible problems. Sometimes the answer isn't to solve the equation you're given, but to invent entirely new mathematics that makes the impossible possible. Thanks for joining me on this mathematical journey. If you enjoyed exploring the Lambert W function, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more mathematical adventures.